Hello, I'm Jonathan Milam with another brass review. This is a horn that I've wanted to have for a long time and uh, just picked one up. It is a French Besson by Canstall. This is the Miha and it is a .470 horn. So uh, the bore size .470 makes it a large bore. It's supposed to be able to put out a tremendous amount of air. I'm really not a big air guy, not a high note guy, so uh, perhaps it won't do me as much benefit as it would someone that were a little more capable in those areas. But uh, one thing I do want to mention here, you've got what they call a choke off of the, um, just going into the third slide, so it, it makes it a little more bearable, although really I don't notice any diff difference. Uh, uh, just an excellent horn to play. If I was doing a four hour gig, I might notice, but with the choke there, and then bringing it down to a more nominal size. You get a very free feeling through the uh, lead pipe of the horn, but still, um, I think a, a very uh, workable, playable instrument. The bell on this thing is so light. Uh, it has to be one of the lightest bells uh, that you can get on a horn. These were made in the early 80s, uh, getting perhaps a little harder to pick up, I uh, don't think there were really that many ever made. This was the horn, I believe, that Phil Driscoll was using when he had his Grammy run in the mid-80s. Tony was putting out uh, just absolutely phenomenal. I did hear him in concert in the uh, early 80s. It's probably what he was playing at that time. Um, nice horn, good valves, you know, very much like Canstall makes them. Uh, small uh, finger buttons, uh, you know, got your stop rod like a back Bach. If you uh, know horns, the French Besson, in fact, in its original state made in Paris, is what Vincent Bach was trying to duplicate when he made the Strat. Strats just have a totally different sound. I've got a good one now, and I really would like to do a comparison of that horn and this one. But um, anyway, I played this for you for just a minute. Uh, nice horn, really an easy feel. Uh, one of the easiest horns to do lip trills I've ever seen. Um, just got a lot of pluses and again I always wonder I've got a nice little zoom that I use for these videos but I just wonder if you get the the feeling that uh, it does bouncing around a room I uh, hope you enjoyed it at least this is the F Besson Miha by Canstall and uh, we'll play an old chorus after just a moment of warm-up <laughs> Nice horn. I had an old Super that I did a uh, uh, brass review on, and I remember that horn, when you brought it up, you just really felt like you're going to hit yourself in the face. The bell is so light, uh, and I noticed that on this, this horn as well. Those are two of the horns that I really, they do have that similarity. The Super seemed, that one seemed to spread a little bit better, but uh, just a great feel on this. I'll uh, try a lip trill, just, uh, you know, the F, not a high F, but uh, uh, just give you an idea really easy to uh, work lip trills on this. I'm not quite sure why. somewhere around an A, uh, getting close to double high C. A very easy play. And again, this is the F. Besson by Canstall, called the Miha, and uh, excellent horn. If you can ever pick one up at a good price, I think it's a great horn to have. Thanks for spending some time with me. Check out my other videos, and have a great day.